So here's the first of the cases. This is easy to spot. The Pony of America is only newsworthy mold. Um, we only reserved one case of these because I wasn't sure how popular it would be. So we have a limited number on this guy. This is what our case looks like. Ooh, that's nice. They actually put a piece of cardboard on the top um, so you don't cut through into the boxes, which is actually super cool. And here we have Easy to Spot. Um, in his pictures, it kind of looked like he was more of a stark white, unpainted um, white color, but this is actually um, nice. He's got Ronin. Um, he has a black mane. He has um, the white top to his tail. He's actually really nicely done. He's got that Ronin throughout his body, so he's not as um, contrasted as, as I first thought. And this is about the real horse here on the back. All right, a pretty guy. And these I think might have gotten jumbled because we ordered a couple different classic horses and I think they put them into um, cases together just to consolidate. But this is Mason Gurry Saddlebred. He's a brand new mole. It's, forgive me, I just I can't remember his sculptor. I almost want to say Kitty Cantrell, but I'm not sure. Um, he's a gray. He has nice detailing. He has a white tip tail and white sock. And you can't see it, but a natural color hoof down there. And this is the horse of the year. Kind of like Bella was the horse of the year last year. So this is the 2018 horse of the year. So I'm really excited um, that they have a new classic mold that is actually quite nice. Um, I haven't personally been a fan of classic molds. Uh, since Briar stopped using the Maureen Love uh, Hagen Renneker mold, which they seem to have brought back. But other than that, I'm personally not a huge fan of the classic mold, but that uh, Mason looks quite nice. This is the Shire. Um, we've been kind of pondering how to ship this one because I'm pretty sure that we're going to have to ship this one at three pounds just because he's so big and heavy. Uh, he has blue and gold main bobs. He has dappling. Um, it's not too fish scaly, really. You know what I mean? Um, it's there, but it's not a uh, real standout-ish. Um, he's actually pretty nice. And then it looks like there's no dappling on the top of his back. He's got the little eye white. He's got a little white face with pink muzzle and the natural color tubs and the darker points on his knees and his hocks. And then, yeah, he's part of the Best of the British series. So last year they had the Connemara Pony and Carlton Lima and the, and the, um, the Irish Draft. So this is this year's Best of the British. This box is one of the Stablemate Horse Surprise Boxes. There's probably not much to see. It's probably a display box. Um, so we'll definitely open one and put it out for sale in the store. So if you want an individual, oh, look, it's not. It's tack. So these are the classic um, tack sets. I think these are new to 2018. They're made of rubber. And um, then they have a cloth blanket. Uh, I don't think I have seen Briar Market um, the classic tack separately. So that's new to them. I don't think that we ordered um, any or too many of the new accessories. I'm, I'm sure there was new um, barns and uh, dolls, um, probably traditional taco. Oh, look, this one's actually the mystery surprise. So they come in this handy dandy display box. I believe there are, I'm going to say 24 uh, per box. Um, this guy here, he's the Django mold sculpted by Bert, uh, Josine Vingerling, uh, and that is the surprise horse. So if we flip it around, whoops, sorry little horse, um, you can see who's included, and then the Django mold, which is this Appaloosa, can come in one of two colors, either the Appaloosa or a Florentine uh, gold. And there's the gray Andalusian, looks like a chestnut or a gray cantering warm blood, the rivet mold, ooh, and a pretty bay pinto, he's nice. Chestnut rainer, gray saddlebred, kind of reminds me of uh, Mason. 
a ooh to share to share that pretty uh, draft stable made by um, Summer Prosser, and looks like either Dunner or Chestnut and the Hanoverian and a Black Pinto. So we will have these available both as complete boxes um, and as single horses. Again, every one in four boxes will have a um, a dapple copper or Florentine Django. So he will be more rare than previous chase horses. And this one is number 1791, and he's Latico done it. Um, he is the uh, smart chick Olina mold, which always confuses me because I want to call it a girl because it says smart chick, but I guess the mold is a guy. Uh, and he is a really gorgeous, um, I want to say Palomino. I think I looked it up, but then his name has Dunn in it, so maybe he's a Dunn. I don't know. He's got a pearly kind of gray shading in his tail and then he's got really awesome shading and dapples super pretty and they've got a tiny little star and then again this is a real horse so the back of the box says a bit about the real horse this is one i know a lot of people have been excited for it's california chrome he's on the cigar mold um so he's part of um the race horses that Farrow has produced. He, as far as I know, American Pharaoh is still in production for 2018 with the exception of the classic American Pharaoh, which was retired, but the traditional American Pharaoh is still in production. Here is California Chrome. He's got a bit of metallic sheen to uh, his chestnut color. He's got a stripe and he's got four socks and he's got gray stripes on his hooves and he's on a nice box that shows the real horse and then the back of the box hey, look at that 14 million that's impressive so that is california chrome and um we're gonna have to get these home and weigh them to see um if we're gonna be able to get that one at two pounds too because that's a pretty big box the horse itself isn't that heavy but he's really long and it's a big box so that's another one of those iffies iffies we can get it at two pounds these and this is Briar 1794 Empress, who is the Ashkar Mole, which is the Bridget Eberl Arabian Stallion. The one who is in kind of that funky, I don't even know what it is, a canter or a playful uh, pose with his leg. And the irony has um, a native Arabian halter and collar. And I believe this is after a real horse too. And he's got really pretty shading. Briar did a nice job on him. And the back uh, has some info about the real horse. His feet are um, just natural in color. There's no striping on them. And he's got that one solid hoof on the left front. And the tack is uh, black with a, looks like silver accents. So I'm trying to think, but I think that's all of them. Xena is the one horse that hasn't shipped yet, or rather Unicorn. Um, none of the dealers have received Xena yet, so I don't know um, what the deal with her is yet, but uh, she will be coming in a later shipment. Oh, and these were the other ones. Ah, look, my soda. Excuse my mess. Thanks for watching.